save the, uh, the, the time, but let me, let me then, um, my lords, ask your lordships and my ladies to look at page one four of this document. This is to Yangasis. DN01, document number seven. Yangasis. Yes, page 104. Yes. I'm a lot granted that uh, probably there would have uh, been a mistake about the photocopying. Uh, but, my lord, if you look at that, the security features are not there. The serialization is not there because it's supposed to be tapered. Uh, if you look at, my lord, the names, uh, like, for example, the name of the first candidate is Okot John Ekuru Longong. That's not the full name of the candidate. If you look at the name of the third respondent, is Kenyat, and then there's Ta, Uhuru. And what follows subsequently is not in accordance with the forms that should have, at the end on page 109, included a collation of the votes garnered by each candidate. If you look at page 109, there is no collation of the aggregate number of votes garnered by each candidate which, my lord, you'd find in some other uh, forms. My lord, then I would want to turn to uh, page 290, 295. My lord, if you look at that page, again, the security features are not evident, but uh, in terms of the Excel sheet that was used, on the left, my lord, you'd find what is supposed to be a serial number and the logo, which is the format that the document should have had. Uh, but on the top, the way the the way it is organized is not the way it should have been in the, 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 the forms as printed by the printer who was procured. I'm a lot again, if you look at the names, Jone Kuru, Logogogi, Okot. Now the, the, the names change. And now this one, the name of Raila Odinga, in the previous one it was Odinga Raila. And the, the name of Uhuru Kenyatta in this one is Uhuru Kenyatta instead of the previous one, which was Kenyatta Uhuru. My lords, if I take you backwards, uh, on page 95, again you see one which is almost atrocious, page 95. Now you could see the name of the first candidate, Ekuru, is A. Ekuru. It's not the full name like the others. And it continues for all the other candidates. Nyaga J, O. Raila. And there are no security features on this one. Where are the security features supposed to be? My lord, they're supposed to be... Uh, my you lord, have in a form with, the, with security features? Yes, uh, I'll, I'll show that, my lord, in respect of... Let me just get... For example, my lord, in the notice of motion, you'll find a copy at page 482. At 482 in the notice of motion,
This is a proper document. The security feature was such that if you photocopy the statutory document, the anti-copying feature would, uh, when photocopy or scanned, come out with this, uh, with the writing copy, 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 uh, like you can see in this one. Mm. In the documents, yes. Where is that? Okay. Because of space, Honorable Rengo, yes. we don't have all, the, all yes. those documents. Yeah, yeah. Pro probably I can show this quickly with the, the one I have. My Lord, in that one, right at the top, you see the barcode, you see the serial number, you see the name of the constituency, the anti copy feature comes out when it's photocopied. I'm a lot at a later time, we could say if it's a proper form. If you apply a, a backward reading machine, it will tell you the constituency or polling station. Right. Yes. <laughs> so that is a proper form. But in relation to the Form 34B, which we were supplied with by the first and second and, uh, respondents, you'll find that nearly all of them are not standardized. They differ from constituency to constituency. And there are others like Madeira constituency where the heading of the form is written by hand, Madeira, which was a, a self-help kind of uh, documentation that was done in that particular constituency. And my lords, if you look at that entire document, you'll find that there were no proper Form 34Bs that were used in the election. I'm a lot, we are inviting you to take this seriously because these forms and the security features were supposed to protect the integrity of the process and the election. And the election doesn't end up with a count. The return of an election is judged by the documents which are in the hands of the first respondent even after the elections, and they are required even to keep them for three years. And under the rules, again, you can apply to get information in relation to some of this documentation. So the record is not about the person who won the election. It's for purposes of the principles which are set out in the Constitution, accountability, accuracy, credibility. I'm a lot of, you remember I said at the beginning, all this is being done in the name of the sovereign. It's not being done in the name of the candidates. It's being done in the name of the sovereign. That the sovereign has said, when you conduct the election, you must do them according to the constitutional principles and the law. And this cannot be treated as a minor uh, transgression. So, my lord, I would uh, end up by inviting your lordships also to look at the, the Court of Appeal decision in the minor Kai matter which I referred to earlier. Because I think it sets out in extent what should happen at the polling station and at the constituency. And they emphasize again and again the instrumentation of the result of that election, which are crystallized in writing out the forms or executed by signing out of those forms. And the judges of the Court of Appeal emphasize that they must be the prescribed forms of the tabulated results. Not the results which are keyed, but the tabulated uh, results. Your Lordships, let me end up by, my knowledge, let me end up by saying that the courts should stand really firm on the issue of elections, that they should be conducted in accordance with the law. There is no other body or organ which can ensure that at the end of the day, the Kenyan voter, the Kenyan people, 
have a government formed in accordance with the Constitution and the law. Because Article 33 of the Constitution, which I think is very important, says that a government establish otherwise that, than in compliance of this Constitution is unlawful. That is a very important provision, that the government should be formed in accordance with the Constitution and the law. And, my Lord, the Court of Appeal judges in the decision of Maina Kiai, they say conflicts surrounding elections and lack of confidence still persist. This is a judgment which was given just the other day. And they stress the history that from since 1963, in all the elections, 202, 97, uh, and, and even uh, uh, 207, they say after every election, there's always lack of faith, lack of confidence. And the only way we are going to cross over the bridge is that any time there's a transgression of the law of the land in relation to the elections, this court should not hesitate in annulling that election. I'm a lot of you may allow me to say from the bar in the recent uh, elections in the United States, when the president of that country talked about the rigging of the elections in the United States. Leaders from both parties, opposite parties, say no. Our elections cannot be rigged. We, we believe in the system. We are waiting for a day in Kenya when after elections, instead of conflict or disputation, each side can stand up and say, yes, I concede defeat, but I concede because the elections were conducted in accordance with the law. And we've got to put our foot down. If a referee in a football match can put his foot down and make sure those who deserve to win, win, and those who lose, lose justifiably. And a football match ends in peace. Kenya must get there when our leaders and politicians should be in the habit of writing two speeches uh, awaiting the results of the election, <clears throat> conceding or making a victory speech. And I think we can get there if we make sure that the electoral process is conducted in accordance with the principles and the law of the land. My Lord, I'll now ask my colleague, Mr. Tinda Molo, to proceed with the second component of our submissions. I thank the court.